shouldn't do that, you know, people shouldn't do that. <laughs> but you know, I was, you know, so I'm wearing, let me show you what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing a very famous, t well, it's not really famous to anybody, but few of us, The Outsider. It's a book by Richard Wright. But this was the thing that I made when I did the audio drama and made a, I made a t-shirt of it because I made it an audio drama. You won't tell me. Oh, hey, maybe I'll, hold on just a second. Let me show you something. Back there, let me show you this. There's the cast list. Mm. It was a long, it was a long audio drama. Eight and a half hours, no commercial break. Started at the New York and Poets Cafe, ended up at WBAI up there on uh, in, well, 35th Street and 8th Avenue. New York and Poets Cafe is down like 6th Street, not 6th, but 3rd Street. My eyes is down there on the east side. But it's interesting, the outsider. I love this book. Now, you know, so who's Richard Rabbit? Well, let me put it this way the Richard Rabbit's most famous book is called A Thing Called Made of Sun. The outsider is the thing he did. He did, he reworked The Outsider because when he wrote Native Son, he didn't know it was going to be famous. It was the only second book he wrote. <clears throat> and so being one of these um, ground making books, all of it, it doesn't matter. The point is that the characters were called Bigger Thomas. And The Outsider, the character, main character, protagonist is called Cross Damon. And what he did, because he made, Richard Wright made um, Native Son as a, purposely as a two dimensional <laughs> character. So when he wrote The Outsider, he reworked it. So Cross Damon is like a three-dimensional character, or a real character. Well, forget the character. The thing is, well, forget the outsider, too. <clears throat> I guess the reason why I'm wearing this is because sometimes I feel like an outsider. No, no, no don't, don't get me wrong. Not, not really. I mean, I'm in, I'm in Africa, Southern Africa. You know, and you, you think I'm an outsider. And, you know, people try to treat me that way. But I look at them like, you don't understand. You know, I'm off the Middle Passage class. I'm more insider than you realize. Give an example. Right now, I live, I live in a house, you know, with, with, with my woman, and, and there's a, a, a family that's already there. There's a, a gogo, or grandmother, you say. Uh, there's a, a three or four children. You know, there's an older boy. He's about 14. There's these two girls that uh, their mother died tragically. That's why this whole thing came together. One's 11, one's 10, I think. Then there's a little one who's like two, three years old, like that. The problem or well, the situation is that the two girls whose mother passed, they are a piece of work. Now, you know, for your mother passed, your mother passed about three years ago, I think, two, three years ago. But that's a traumatic situation. And like so many places in Africa, they didn't get no therapy, you know. So they, they're like wild children, you know. So now, the thing is, what, what people don't understand, see, and they call themselves orphans, you know, which is a terrible thing. You can't call it. They believe that, you know what I mean? Now, the thing is, both my woman and myself, we are both, in a sense, orphans, because we were, it doesn't matter the point is, but we, you know, we, well, things happen. So I'm thinking, you know, the problem is, they don't understand that I understand them. <laughs> my woman understands them. I understand situations, not only just because of them, because I grew up in a situation, especially with the kid called, Everybody with a deal was damaged. We're all damaged to some extent. So you can't get away with the stuff that you think you can get away with just because you wasn't, you know, counseled correctly. Well, the counselor has arrived. And the counselor is not an outsider. I know more about them and their culture than they realize. So now we have a, I don't say an ongoing problem, but we have a situation where Okay, now I gotta bring all my, all my knowledge and stuff to bear and deal with the situation because it's not just them. Remember that the, the, the mother of that was the daughter of the girl. So she's damaged too and she doesn't know it. So I gotta deal with all of that. But the boys, the boys are right. His mother and father in, in, in Lesotho or whatever. Uh, and you know, I, but he's of that age, you know, teenager, you know, so I gotta give him some guidance, but it's not, not as traumatic as the other. So I have a strategy, and it's going to work. Why? Because I'm a theater person. I know this stuff. I don't have to deal with damaged people. But it's going to be a long haul. <laughs> At first, I had to get my woman on board. You know, Gabby, my wife, she's sort of, you know, she, you know, so I got to get her on board. There's a lot of stuff I got to weave together. 
and do this outside. But it sort of all works together for me. So all this outside thing you think about, so this and outside thing, it's, all this is inside and all for me, it all works, even with my studies. That's what's so interesting, because this helps my studies. And plus, I have a secret weapon. You know, Mr. Bullet, which comes in. He's, he knows. So once a week he comes, so he's, he's dealing in the situation too. So I think it's all gonna work out well. Mainly because one thing, I want this last thing I'll tell you. See, the thing is, uh, 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 Professor James Small, who, you know, who's a historian and then, so whatever, he's, he's, he's a cat, you <laughs> know, he's a cat. And uh, he once told me, he said, you know, during slavery, you know, when they sold your, you know, when, they, when you, was, you sold your parents, something like that, or you was sent to another plantation as a kid, you were immediately adopted, adopted, taken in by whatever situation there. So it's like that, that's what I mean. No one's been abandoned. And if you really believe in your ancestors, you realize your ancestors are around all the time. So what we're dealing with is just a, a minor adjustment in thinking. So they have to understand, and we all have to understand, that no, we're all in this together. And we got to deal with it. What's messed us up is that there's some other forces that's trying to tear apart our culture and our understanding because it's to their, uh, how do you say, uh, <coughs> to their advantage to do that. We have to make that what they think is an advantage, a disadvantage to them by coming together, taking in each other, and understanding no one's an outsider, at least not in the African concept. Anyway, this is one of those dispatches from the Arch Director Emeritus. Uh, that would be me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm -hmm.